it's Gabby and back here in front of you. Today I will be showing you guys a review video of the Vanov Pretty Sonic Makeup Brush. Before I start this video, I'd like to let you know that this video is in partnership with Go Sally. If you have been watching my videos for a while, you might have known that I have collaborated with them before and that is my review video with the Eliza Becca Kangxi pack and the cream. Before I start this video, I want to thank Go Sally. So thank you so much for reaching out to me once more and for making this video possible. Just a little background for Go Sally. Go Sally is an online beauty store that sells Korean beauty products on Amazon. They also have their own website and I will link all of those down below as, as well as the product that I will be reviewing today. So let's get started. <laughs> Just so you know, I haven't really used it yet, but I opened it yesterday because I got this yesterday. The shipping was really fast. It was like two days. This is how it looks like. The box is orange and it looks really pretty and nice. So the brush that they sent me is worth $39.80 on Amazon. It's kind of pricey, but we'll see if it's worth it or not at the end. So a little background for the company, which is Vanev. They sell similar devices as the makeup brush, but most of their products are for skincare. So it looks pretty cool. The only thing available with Go Sally is the makeup brush and the cleansing brush. But today I'm only working on the makeup brush. So I'm looking through my phone because like I have my notes in here that are like worth mentioning before I do anything. The makeup brush uses sonic vibrations opposed to rotating brushes to achieve flawless makeup application. This leaves with no streaks or lines. It has 3D sonic technology that has 7,000 RPM sonic vibrations per minute. And it also has no uneven rotation. So basically in the box, first they have a warranty card. They also have a manual on how to use this thing. I read through it before starting this video so I know what to do. and. The steps are pretty simple. Let's dive into the stuff that we have here, shall we? So in the box, they have the brush, the thing, and some batteries. They gave six batteries and I already put in the batteries right here. I haven't put in the brush though, so let's go do that. It's really easy. Um, just open it. Basically put the brush, the brush is really soft, wow, right here. Basically just put it right there twist it and it's locked. The steps are really simple and it says here that it has three speeds or settings. There's like slow, then normal. It would beep twice if it's normal. And then if it's like high, like that, it would beep three times. It's really loud. Did you hear it? <laughs> but yeah, to turn it off, you gotta long press the button, so. That's pretty simple in my opinion and it's a hexagon. So yeah, the brush is really soft. My hands are clean and I prepped my face. So let's try this on and we'll see how it works. Oh well, yeah, did you guys notice that I got a haircut? I just got it today. By the way, I only have lip tint on. I don't have any cheek tint or whatever so that I could actually try using this thing. I checked on the Vanev website and you could use this brush on like any kind of foundation or primer or any kind of base so that's pretty exciting um today we're gonna use the cushion foundation that i have here and we're gonna compare i'm gonna blend this side of my face using this thing and i'm gonna blend the other side with the cushion from the cushion <laughs> I think we're done for this side. Basically, this is the Lumi cushion side, okay? Now I'm gonna test. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna do this. I hope that's right. So I'm gonna tap onto it and then I'll use a brush to like blend it out, okay? I'm scared a little bit. Okay, I have the product. Let's use a lower speed because they say if it's like a little abrasive on your face, you could set the settings a little low. So yeah. Let's 
let's grab some more product. I grabbed a lot more. And let's see how it goes. This feels really good, <laughs> honestly. Okay, I'm done with the foundation. So do you see a difference? Oh, I didn't put some on my neck, hang on. I don't know if it's because of the amount of product that I put on my face, but this looks like it could be my skin. And this one looks a little pale. I kind of like it because it feels really great. The blood in my face is being circulated. I really like it. And the brush is really soft. So far, it's a thumbs up for me. So let's move on to concealer. I use the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. I usually use a beauty blender. I have this right now. And we'll compare which one does better. It's also concealer imperfections. Put on right here and right there. <laughs> and we are done on this side. Let's move on to the brush. I'm gonna try to use the second setting. I could fall asleep while using this thing, honestly. Looking at it from afar, this side of my face looks a lot smoother and I kind of like it. So I think it's doing its job. So yeah, <laughs> I'll ask my sisters which they think looks smoother because that is pretty much the end of the base makeup that I use. I don't have a lot. So yeah, let's see. Come on. Okay, sis. Say hi. Um, hi. Compare which one, which side looks smoother, this side or this side? Mm. This side? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Say hi. <laughs> Why do you think so though? Para hindi siya cakey. Tignan. Since smooth lang siya, it's hindi siya streaky. Mo ba siya natural? Okay. Ito ka natural. Ito. Jan para hindi siya naka blend na ayos. Hi. <laughs> so I'm gonna make you choose which side of my face looks better. The right side. This side? Why? Because it's clear. Wala naman, wala ko na ikitang difference. Paano naging different? Wala anong, bang difference? Anong like mas smooth ba to? Or mas rough ba yan? <clears throat> Alin to? Hmm, ito, like yung part, teka, ito, yan, yung part na yan. Uh, parang hindi siya masyado pa nakablend. Okay, maybe I didn't do a good job. <laughs> okay, thanks. So, I just conducted an interview with my sisters as shown in the clips before this. And I also asked one friend and I let them choose which side of my face looks better. Both of my sisters chose this side because they said it was blended out better than the other side. But I showed my friend what I look like and she said this side looks better than the other side. She said that this looked smoother. I didn't say anything about having the brush by the way, so um, she said this side looks smoother. It looks more like it had more coverage. If I look from afar, I don't really see much of a difference, but if I look a little closer, I kind of prefer this side more because this side looks a little like didn't have that much product on, or maybe it was just because I used more product on this side than the other side, but I can't figure out that well. So, final thoughts on the Van of 3D Sonic Makeup Brush. I really, really like it. And honestly, I think I will keep using it because it's soft. 
and it's really easy to use. The only con about this for me is the price point because like I'm a student and even though I do work, this is half of my paycheck already so that's a little expensive. Honestly, buying this product would depend on how much you use makeup. As a person who doesn't really use makeup as often, I wouldn't buy this but it's a good thing to have if you are really into makeup, into professional looking makeup at that. It does give a poreless finish in my opinion. I scored a 9 out of 10. So that concludes today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much Go Sally for partnering with me in this video and for sending me this really cool gadget. And I'm really happy that you guys came up to me and let me know that you wanted me to make a video about it. I'm honestly really obsessed with it now that I have it. It's something I never thought I would need. So I hope you guys liked this video. I will link everything down below. Anyway, I gotta head out and make some cookies. So may your day be as bright as the sun. Bye!